after she told me what the story was about, I was immediately hooked by it. I love this location. I actually shot a scene of my feature film, The Nomad, there. Also, if you are a fan of the movie The Avengers, you probably know that that square is the location of the final showdown uh, at the end of the film. Hi everyone, my name is Daniel Diosdado. Welcome to my filmmaking channel. In here, you'll find information about how to make movies, tips and tricks to help people who are like me, indie filmmakers with very little money. The third week of August 2023, I was called by director, actress, and choreographer Vanessa Calderon to be the cinematographer of her short film, Connection. It's a short and beautiful piece about how much alienated we are by our smartphones and how much there is out there for us to miss. Uh, after she told me what the story was about, I was immediately hooked by it. It's not a depressing story, not at all, but it definitely makes me want to put down my phone for a bit and enjoy life around. So if you're watching this on your phone and you want to stop the video and, and go for a walk in a park or something, I won't blame you. I had it coming. For this shoot, as you can see in the behind the scenes footage, the location was Pershing Square in New York City. I love this location. I actually shot a scene of my feature film, The Nomad, there. By the way, link to The Nomad in the description below, just in case you want to go and see it. And if you do, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Also, if you are a fan of the movie The Avengers, you probably know that that square is the location of the final showdown uh, at the end of the film. Anyway, my camera of choice, because I love it and because I own it, uh, was the Sony FX6. One of the best, if not the best cameras uh, for the price range to get a nice cinematic look. I also know that not everybody agrees on this matter, um, but what you gotta do. For the close-ups of them walking, I used a 70 200 millimeter lens with an aperture of 2.8 to get that beautiful depth of field you see there. The camera was on a monopod to be steady enough not to be shaky, but not as sturdy as if it would have been if it was on a tripod. And for the dance section of the film, I went handheld with a 24 70 millimeters also with an aperture of 2.8. Sometimes I zoomed in and out a little bit to get that wobbly feeling. Okay, that's it for now. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel because it really helps the channel. <laughs> also, let me know in the comments below what is your favorite camera and why. And why not if you have visited Pershing Square in New York City. All right, 
Thank you guys for watching. See you on the next one. I was called by director, actress, and choreographer Vanessa Calderon to be the first to be something. It's a short and beautiful piece about how much alienate, ali, ali, alienated, 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 alienated. It's a short and beautiful piece about how much alienated uh, by our smartphones we are and how much there is out there for us to miss. It's a short and beautiful piece about how much alienated we are by our smartphones and how much there is out there that the, Jesus. After we, after she told me what the story was about, it's a short and beautiful piece about how much alienated we are by a smartphone first by our smartphones and how much how much how much it's not a depressing story not at all but it definitely makes but sound like sheep uh, the location was Pershing 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 Square in New York City the location was Pershing Square in New York City shitty New York City. I love this location. I actually shot a scene of my feature, The Nomad, there. Uh, by the way, link to The Nomad. Eh, da, da, da. Just in case you do. <sighs> and by the way, if you. Uh, uh, fake.